So one question that I had for you um, that I've had from a lot of people is the benefits of having, we all know it's a big benefit, but to have all the custom drag curves and be able to put them into your Kestrel versus mm -hmm. G1 or G7. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, custom drag curves are really the best way to model your bullet's drag characteristics. And there's easy and hard ways of doing that. Um, whenever you have separate devices, it can be hard to communicate between them. But whenever you can store it all on a Kestrel, it really gives you easy access to the highest state of the art that we have right now to use. And it's no harder to use than a less accurate solution when it's all built together into a Kestrel. And when you are determining a custom drag curve, how many rounds are you sending? Uh, we shoot a lot. We shoot a lot of rounds to determine custom drag models, which to, when you consider that we're expanding the library now from over 500 bullets to probably close to 800 bullets here soon, um, it's a lot of shooting that we do. Uh, a lot of it we do at 300 yards, a lot of it we do at 1,000 yards. Um, and we test that of different twist rate rifles. We're basically doing all of the hard science to determine your bullet's flight performance and building that into the tool so that when you go to the range to shoot, all of that testing basically has been done and you're just implementing the solution that we got using our instruments. Do you have a favorite gun? Uh, it depends on what I'm shooting at. Um, I have uh, some favorite competition guns, yeah. Um, I'm, I have started shooting PRS. Actually, I guess I can say I've shot one match, but I plan to shoot more Sorry. and I have a favorite rifle for that. So yes, I have many favorite guns. <laughs> what about calibers? Is there a certain caliber that you really enjoy shooting? Uh, yeah, again, that's application specific. I think the 308 Winchester is so pervasive in so many different disciplines. You know, two of the um, disciplines that I've shot internationally with uh, teams, you know, have been 308 Winchester and the U.S. Palma team and the U.S. F, the F class team. Um, you know, 260 Remington is what I like for PRS. You know, it's simple, it's available. Um, the performance is good. For extended long range shooting, which is something that we're getting more into lately, shooting beyond a mile, uh, beyond transonic ranges, the 375 caliber is really where a lot of good bullets are available. It's a good break point as you start going up in caliber. So favorite caliber, when you ask a guy like me, you're not gonna get a short answer. <laughs>